you've read my book or watched my DVD, shameless plug, you know that my approach to posture is perceptual. That means that if we can really allow ourselves to surrender, to accept the support of the ground, and simultaneously widen our perspective to include our surroundings, then that balanced perceptual field automatically balances, optimizes our posture and does nice things for our mental point of view as well. In my various blog posts, I've tried to help you get in touch with the various places in our bodies where we tend to uh, resist that balanced perceptual orientation. In this video, I'd like to share with you my favorite practice for restoring my own sense of grounded support when I've interfered with it by getting caught up in some problem or other. It's really simple, just involves rolling on the ground. Start with your knees bent, feet flat on the ground, and just give yourself a little push with one foot to initiate the roll. Your knees follow along and fall to the floor. To return, just lean back into your pelvis. Your spine and legs will unwind. Now I'm going to initiate the push with my right foot. Rolling onto the left side, but my right arm doesn't follow all the way over to the other side. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you completely relax. Well, I'd like to suggest a few things to be careful of. One is that uh, right now it looks as though I've landed, that I'm resting. But I'm really not. So there's more to let go of in my leg, in my foot, in my spine, in my head. So that's the actual exercise. Each time you land, to take a kind of inventory and see what parts of yourself have not finished yielding to the ground. I like to add gentle music when I do this. The duration of the song gives me a minimum time to stick with the meditation. Five or six minutes is a good amount of time. Each time I roll over to the resting position gives me a new opportunity to notice my process of yielding. Sometimes I imagine myself softening like honey spreading out on a warm plate. I take inventory are my eyes yielding to the floor, dropping, sinking to the left? My jaw and teeth sinking? It doesn't matter where my arms are resting when I stop. There's no set choreography to this. I might ask, are my feet really resting? My toes, are they soft? My fingers. And what about my internal organs? Can I sense them flowing to the right as I settle on that side? I picture my heart resting, my intestines. Sometimes I imagine the sound of pebbles in a rain stick, and I imagine all the pebbles inside my body, 
yielding and resting into gravity. Now I'll push myself back up into the world while trying to sustain my sense of bodily weight. I take time with this process and keep tracking my sensations of weight in my legs, my pelvis, my spine, my shoulders. I take time to let my skin surface remember the touch of the air and extend my awareness into the room before I open my eyes. And then the hard part, to sustain my groundedness and spaciousness while I go about my day. It can be a crazy world out there. I hope this practice can help you restore your sense of presence. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching.